All right, everybody, welcome back to part two of the Hurricane Power Outage uh, food rankings. Uh, when we left off, we had our ginger snaps here in number one spot. The chicken Vienna sausages were number two, and the snap pack banana cream pie was quite disgusting. Uh, that was number three. So I think what we're going to do here, we still got our Beach Cliff sardines and Louisiana hot sauce. We got our spam, our chicken salad and crackers in a box from Bumblebee. Um, and then there's the chicken and dumplings and the chunk chicken. I've decided I'm going to cut out these two. There's so many canned foods you can get. And I feel like this is just not that interesting. It's just chicken and dumplings. It's, it's canned food. There's a million different brands you can get. And I think I'm just going to save this for later. There's just no way this is going to be good cold. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to save it. I don't want to be wasteful. So this is really what we're looking at here. We got our three that we've already done. And then we got the sardines, the spam, and the chicken salad and crackers. So let's see out of these six what the final ranking will be. I really hope a bag of cookies isn't number one because you really aren't getting any sustenance there. <laughs> There's really not anything to make a meal out of there. I really hope something can unseat the cookies. Um, let's see here. Oh, by the way, this is um, here in about an hour. We'll be on day eight of no power here. Um, trying to figure out where I had this camera last night. This is not working. <laughs> Professional footage here. Yeah, so here we are. Day eight, uh, no power. But again... Um, this is all for fun. This is to keep myself sane, maybe to entertain you a little bit. The truth is I'm very, very blessed. Um, I still have a house. I still have a roof. Um, still have my life. So, but enough of that. Let's eat some canned and prepackaged foods that you can try in an eight day power outage slash hurricane. Um, man, what have I done? Let's just start easy. Bumblebee crackers and chicken salad. This is just interesting. A box of crackers and chicken salad. I, I like homemade chicken salad that's done, well, the way I like it. <laughs> I don't like a bunch of fruit and nuts in my chicken salad. I don't think that stuff belongs in chicken salad. Give me like diced up like pickles, relish, and chicken and eggs and mayo, some onion. That is perfectly fine. I like it that way. Some people can't stand that. They want fruit and nuts. Oh, so little pack of crackers. That's cute. By the way, I desperately need a haircut, but it just doesn't seem that important right now, so I've not gotten one. What else is in our box of goodies here? Again, this is Bumblebee Original Chicken Salad and Crackers. Oh, how cute. There's a little spoon and the smallest little can of chicken salad. Economy size. All right, so we'll just pop the top on this. Looks like Fancy Feast cat food, um, which is, you know, probably tastes better than some of this stuff. But being honest, what does that smell like? I've had this smell before. It's not chicken. It's not straight up dog food either. There's something that smells like this. Oh, just like canned chicken and dumplings. Okay, I guess that's okay. That's not so far off. I do see some fruit. It looks like maybe pineapple. Doesn't that look delicious? See maybe some pineapple in there. What does it say? Cooked chicken, light mayonnaise, dressing, which is water and soybean oil and vinegar, and a bunch of other stuff. Celery. Okay, some of that I'm looking at is celery. Sugar. Okay, there's some dehydrated onion, but there is no fruit. The celery. However, sugar is um, pretty far up there on the ingredients list. So this is going to be sweet chicken salad. Then we got our pack of crackers. This is a big box for what amounts to a very little, what is that, like an ounce? No, it's two and a half ounces. Okay. Two and a half ounces of chicken salad and uh, five crackers. They look like Ritz crackers, but... They're not actually Ritz crackers, so they're probably not going to be quite that good. Let's just try a cracker first. 
It's a less buttery, more dry Ritz cracker. It's fine. It's a cracker. Not as good as a Ritz cracker for sure. Not bad. Let's try the chicken salad on its own. It smells so sweet. I can't believe that's just celery chunks. I thought it was like pineapple. Those are big celery chunks. Canned celery is a weird thing to begin with. It's definitely very sweet. Let's try it with cracker now. <clears throat> hmm. It's not terrible. 100% it's better than the banana cream pie. It's not like good chicken salad, but it's, it's like low quality grocery store chicken salad, if you know what I mean. Like low quality grocery store chicken salad. Which is to say, to come in a can, it's not horrible. <coughs> I'm choking on the crackers. It's, um, it's not good, but it's not horrible. It's better than banana cream pie. I'm a sucker for the format of the Vienna sausages, plus 89 cents for a can. I'm gonna give the edge to the Vienna sausages. I just feel like, I don't know. This is probably more real food. I should probably put them ahead, but I'm gonna put the chicken salad in a can in third place before the banana cream pie pudding but after the Vienna sausages. Oh, these sardines are staring me in the face. Again, if you didn't watch part one, I've never eaten sardines. I've never wanted to eat sardines. I really regret buying these because now I'm gonna feel obligated to try them at least. Surely I didn't pay much for these. I ripped the sticker off that one. I don't know, I don't, I don't think it was much at all. The Spam was the most expensive item I bought, $3.95, high dollar. Almost got the treat that was sitting right beside it because I know they're similar, but it's like, you know what? I, I deserve to treat myself. So I spent the three ninety five dollars on a can of Spam. The problem is I'm going to have to eat it all or waste it because I know over fridge. And if I eat this whole can of Spam, oh Lord, 770 milligrams per serving, 33% of your daily value per serving, and there's six servings. Oh man, so if I ate this whole can, I'm probably just gonna stroke out. That would be 180, 198, basically 200%. You know, I guess I'm surprised it's not more. It's it's double the sodium you're supposed to have in a day, almost exactly double if you eat the whole can. So maybe I'll just eat half the can. <laughs> Let's do that next though, because I gotta save the sardines for last, because oh man. Clean that off. Oh, I didn't even use my little spoon for the chicken salad. I'm an animal. Got to love the pull tab on a can of Spam. I've had Spam plenty of times in the past. It's been a while though. And I always heat it up. Like, I'm not an animal. I heat up my Spam. Spam 100% looks like dog food when you open it up. But like good dog food. And I'm okay with that. Well, like the really densely packed dog food, you know. You know what I'm talking about. But I don't have a big problem with that. Let's see. Let's go and get this out on a plate here. I'm making a total mess of what I'm doing. All right. Let's dump the spam out. <laughs> that sound. I swear that sound. All right, let's get some of this trash out of the way. And there you go, your block of Spam. Right there. Kind of a salt block, basically. All right, let's just dig into it. We all know what Spam tastes like, probably. But how is cold Spam? Now, I'll be honest. I open this. This is going to be my supper tonight. The Spam is going to be the main part of my supper. Unless I love these sardines. Um, I'm going to put it on some bread with a Duke's Mayo packet that I swapped from the cafeteria at the hospital. Um, 
and even cold, I think it'll be bearable. But for this test, I don't think that's fair. I've got to just eat it as it comes. I'm judging these each as they come. Here we go. A delicious cut of Spam. I forgot how salty Spam is. It is so salty. And I know for a fact it's so much better heated up. Like, I just know that. But also, this is going to be okay on a sandwich with some mayo on bread. And I'm not hating it. I'm not hating it. Okay, I don't need it anymore to know. Even cold, even like this. Spam is ahead of the cream pie pudding which are just nasty. It's ahead of the chicken salad in a can, and it's ahead of the Vienna sausages, because it's very similar, if I'm being honest, but it just tastes better. Cold, it tastes better. And heated, Spam really comes alive. A toasted Spam sandwich, like, uh, or grilled in the pan, some butter on the bread, mm, and cheese. I can't have that right now. I could if I had a gas stove. At this point, if I know I've been without power this long, I should have gotten a little... Just like a little propane burner or something. But all the heat, everything in our house is electric, including the stove and the oven. Obviously the microwave, so. I'm judging, judging this cold. It's definitely in second place, but is it better than the cookies? There's one way to determine this right off the bat. It's hard to judge because I'm judging it based on the type of food it is. I mean, a cookie's always going to be good. It's a cookie. But... I'm not just picking this because it's sweet. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna say right now, the spam and the cookies are tied and I'm gonna decide at the end. Because those are good, but at least this has a little bit of protein in it. Seven grams of protein per serving. That would be 42 grams for the can. It's got an absurd amount of sodium, but to be fair, the cookies really aren't doing anything for you nutrition-wise. At least you're getting some protein here. So I'm leaving them tied right now, but we'll come back because, oh boy, oh boy. Next is the last one, number six. The Beach Cliff Sardines in Louisiana Hot Sauce. Never heard of this brand and I've never eaten sardines. I've eaten kippers, but they were smoked and I think I like them more because of that. By Bumblebee, okay, the same people as the chicken salad. And I know I've had Bumblebee tuna, which if I'm being honest, a can of tuna. Or I brought this here just to show you. If we're not going for a... Uh, some kind of offbeat stuff or, I don't know, just a little more different. Like a pouch of tuna. Now, this one's ranch flavored because the grocery store is already out of the normal stuff. I don't know about this. But these packets of tuna are actually a good choice. If you got some crackers or bread, I much prefer a tuna sandwich like toasted. But I th at least it's protein and it's not tons of sodium. Like something like this is your better choice. But we're not ranking that. That's not fun. We're doing this instead. Ingredients are sprats. Is that another name for a sardine? Is that the actual type of fish? Water. Some kind of acid, salt, paprika, cornstarch, spice extracts. Color. They add color to this to make it more appealing. Contain sprats. May contain crustaceans. I'm not looking forward to this. I almost hate to open this in the house. It's good until August 2026, though, so it's good for about two more years. Here we go. Oh, boy. I've never eaten sardines. I don't want to eat sardines. Why did I buy these? Now i got to review them. Can I even get the can open? Oh, boy. Good Lord. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, they're so ugly. Oh, God. 
so disgusting looking. I don't think I see any heads. Did they cut the heads off? Oh, I think that might be a head. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see if we can get you a good look there. Get you a good look. Oh, I'm going to spill the juice. Be careful. Be careful. The juice makes them more appealing, but everything else makes them less appealing. Oh, boy. Uh, all right. I'm not looking forward to this. Where's my fork? Let's get this over with. Clean fork, though. They're getting a fair shot. This is the final thing we're testing for our hurricane power outage food ranking. Uh, why am I doing this? Get a good juicy one. Oh, they're falling apart. Okay, the spinal cord is just in there, but I guess they're cooked so thoroughly it doesn't matter. I can't even get you a whole one to show you because they fall apart so easily. Blah. No. Mm -mm. <clears throat> Cold fish. <clears throat> Cold fish is already a struggle. God, they're so fishy. I would love to be able to get you a more whole piece here. They fall apart as soon as I try to get them out. Let's see if I can get you the other side. Here you can see. I mean, it's just... They do cut the head off and most of the tail, although there's a little bit of the fin, honestly, right there. Yeah, they left a bit of the fin. They do cut the heads off, though. I, I thought I remembered them leaving the heads on, which is even worse. I had such a visceral reaction, just the idea of it, eating cold, almost whole fish out of a can. I kind of feel like even though I didn't gag on the banana pudding, it was so disappointing. It's so, it tastes like cardboard. Part of me feels like I have to try another bite of this just to be sure. That is dead last. It's just like worse tuna, because it is so cooked. <clears throat> it's so cooked that it's kind of just like worse tuna. Ugh. There's more spam. Yuck. That tells me I don't like sardines, because these are in Louisiana hot sauce. That is the only thing making these things bearable. Is that hot sauce? Oh, I didn't want to dirty my spam. Here's the crazy thing. These are fish. They have protein. The hot sauce kind of makes them... If I had to eat this despite how I've reacted, I think I could do it. I would really want some crackers with it at the very least. And when I'm finished, I will have had some protein. When I finish these, I've had a, just a speck of skim milk, but otherwise no nutrition. I mean, almost nothing. There's 0% calcium. There's 0% vitamin D. 
So they say it's made with real milk, but it's not giving you any good. It's just a bunch of junk otherwise. Cornstarch, palm oil, water. This is vapor. At least the sardines are fish. It's not the healthiest way to eat them, but it's fish. I don't ever want to see either one of them again, but I'm going to put the sardines ahead of the pudding because at least they're giving you some weird kind of benefit, I guess. Oh, I thought they're already giving me indigestion, though. Ugh. All right, so here we are. Oh, here's the question. Dead last, banana cream pie. Next to last, uh, Beach Cliff sardines and Louisiana hot sauce. Next, the chicken salad in a can, in a box. Vienna sausages. And I'm going to give it to Spam or the ginger snap cookies. And here's the thing. I'm giving it to Spam because Spam... Has some protein. These are just, they taste good, but it's just comfort. That's all it is. You're just getting comfort out of it. You're getting basically no nutrition. Um, the best thing you can say about them is I think they're made with real ingredients, but it's, it's, it's a treat. You're getting some protein out of this. It'll sustain you a little bit. But these still taste so much better than all the stuff after it that I got to put them in second place. So number one is Spam. Ginger snap cookies, chicken Vienna sausages, chicken salad and crackers in a box, uh, bumblebee beach cliff sardines, and then last place, the snack pack banana cream pie. So there's that. Now you know. But honestly, you're better off with a can of Chef Boyardee or just a can of regular tuna or a packet of tuna, um, something like that. Yeah. So I'm not sure what I've done here. I give you six kind of bad options, honestly. Hey, thanks for checking out the Cardboard Cave. We'll catch you next time. And uh, stay safe out there. Peace out. What am I going to say next? Good luck. <laughs>